rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. That was, that was Satan, and he manifested that when he said, I will exalt my throne above the, that of the most high. He's going to he's gonna sit in the, in the, above God. It was about him. He, he saw himself as being, you know, exalted. And I think that's what happens with us too, man. I, it ain't hard, man. I, I mean, honestly speaking, once you start to take that look at yourself and dealing with people that you come in contact with, selfishness is just... Man, it's so easy to slip into because you getting on my nerves. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. You are getting on my nerves. It's like, I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you. It's not like you don't need my presence anymore. Or I need to stick with you so that you can live. It's like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. You need to go do something else. And, and, and that's how I, or I need to get away from you because it's something I'm trying to preserve for myself. That pleasure that, that you're speaking of. It's like, I want a peaceful environment. I want things to be in, in place and in order. I want this to happen, I want this to happen, I want this to happen. And you messing all that up. Ah, you you see what really I'm saying? Understood. If we really understood this, this is what we do. We'd be practicing more. We'd be doing our to bro, bro, bro Anderson, slap me. <laughs> <laughs> Bust me upside the head so I can get I can get into the groove and turn it on the seat though, because I realize I need some pain. Woo. Listen, and that's why God has set this thing up this way. That is why he has left us in the world. That is why he has left us in the flesh. Because he knows in order for this image to be conformed, it's in the form in the process of pain. Wow. You, you know, the, it's in the context of pain that the new man is shaped. Mm. But, but you know, Woo. it's just inherent. I mean, it's almost like it would be redundant for him to slap you inside the head. Cause if you down here on this earth, you're gonna get slapped upside the head anyway. <laughs> and, and that that becomes the whole. I think to me, it, I don't know. Have you been able to escape pain yet? I mean, you, you know what I'm saying? Is that in, in the turns and twists that we make in this life, don't we encounter it anyway? Even when we're trying to avoid it, don't we find ourselves in the midst of it? Well, some of that, some of that is pain. Some of that is when you 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 getting pain that you earn. I hear what you're saying. Right. The repercussions of our transgression, that part of it, you know, I killed him exactly. in front of me. Yeah. Right. Because he said it, he didn't say, he said you'd be uh, persecuted, not prosecuted. Right? So did, yeah, he said person, you'd be pro, pro, persecuted. You'd, you'd be persecuted instead of prosecuted. The world system will prosecute it for wrongness. And, and, and going to the kingdom, you're persecuted for rightness. Isn't that, isn't that how it goes, Brother Anderson? That's normally what you persecute it yeah. for trying to do the right thing. I mean, even like I said, that's why I use that example in the politics today. If you, but, if you do the right thing, then you, you're going to, sometimes people are going to be upset with you because you're not doing it their way. The world system will be upset with you. Yeah. The world will definitely be upset with you because you're doing you're going to undermine their authority and you're going to begin to pull away from them. That's what the, that's what the warfare comes in. Yeah. It's like I, their kingdom doesn't work and ours does. And when we manifest in accordance with how God has given us the directives, it becomes obvious that our kingdom works better yeah. than their kingdom does. So we, we're pulling resources away from the adversary. The adversary is out. We don't have natural enemies. We have him. The, the Satan himself who prompts men to do certain things or, you know, com commands his children to do certain things that are just going to be inherently against us. Yeah. So there is pain, I think. It's almost like saying you're jumping in the water. The result is you're going to get wet. Yeah. You know, so when you come to this world system, you are a part of the problem. Yeah. <laughs> and you bring a lot of pain into other people's lives. And then you come out of this system and because you're no longer part of that system, now they bring bringing pain to you because you are opposed to it. It, it, it. it really does. You really have to destroy your flesh to live this, this life. And that and that's a painful experience. It really right. is a painful experience. Right. And, and isn't, isn't, which I would say that if we want to call ourselves a Christian nation, it's not what we're going through part of a, a, a pain process too. Just we're going through growing pains. It's just inherent. 
I mean, when people slap you on the one cheek, that ain't pleasant. And, not, and as, as a, a Pastor Lee was saying earlier, to turn the other cheek and expose yourself to some more pain, that definitely takes a lot of sacrifice. That takes a lot of stuff sacrifice to Exactly. To well, so, this, this, you know, I don't think you can do it in, in, in the flesh. It, it, it takes a selfless person. It takes a Holy Ghost. Well, it takes, <laughs> in, in some cases, a weak person. It, it takes a dead person. A, a weak person will will submit. <laughs> it does. But, yeah, but, right. but to a certain point, okay. you, you can take a little dog and, and kick him into a corner, and eventually that dog's gonna start fighting back. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So you you know there there is some folks that would just sit there and take it because <laughs> of of fear. And, uh, but what? But for self preservation. Okay. 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 You know, they, they will they will start to to fight back. So for us, self self preservation it's is dead. not fighting back. It's dying. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that, that's if, a will. If you go down to the funeral home uh -huh. this morning, <laughs> I want them courses and slap him out the coffin. <laughs> I threw him out of the coffin. I'm gonna slap him, slap him out of the coffin. <laughs> he will not, he will not respond to you or get mad at you or cuss you out. Mm -hmm. Oh, he dead. He dead. And the scripture says, he that is dead is free from sin. It's free from it's sin. God himself. <laughs> You know, the, the thing that's funny about that, when we say free from sin, sometimes we miss the fact that he said, love your enemy. Yeah. If you don't love your enemy, that's a sin. That's a sin. So it, it's like, it ain't just going out being a homemonger or, 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 or a thief or a liar or whatever. That's sin. When God tells us to align ourselves with his will and turning the other cheek, going the extra mile, blessing them that curse us. It's like, if you don't do that, that's not, it's not a, what do you call it? It's not a, a nice suggestion. It's actually a commandment to us. To love our enemies, and 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 and, and, and unfortunately, we are living sacrifices who were able to get up out that coffin, <laughs> and when they slap us, we can slap them back. You know what I'm oh, saying? That's the problem. Well, that's it. You ain't got the business in the coffin in the first place because you ain't dead. You ain't yeah, dead yet. You had a business. And and, 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 and that's that, I think. Mean, we're trying to pretend you. We're trying to pretend you dead by letting the coffin get out the coffin. Amen. And well, you well, know what? Thing. Lee, you you said you said a mouthful. You know the 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 church today, they going and getting in the coffin. Yes, sir. <laughs> they on Sunday they go to get in the coffin. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Monday, they ain't in that coffin. Don't slap them. Don't you slap them on Monday? <laughs> but you know, the thing that I look at is that a dead man doesn't experience pain either. So you literally got to be alive, and, and we're told that we're going to be alive. We're living sacrifices, so you're going to experience the pain of the slap because you ain't, you're not physically dead. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> we, we, we got to be, we got to be spiritually correct because there is a dead man that experienced pain and, and, and asked Lazarus to, 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 to comfort him. So a dead man does experience pain, but dead flesh yeah the flesh yeah. that is dead yes sir does but not see, experience pain romans is clear romans chapter 8 is clear you if you're in christ you are not in the flesh no. right right you are not you're not okay, so here's what that means so they bust you upside the head <laughs> that, that text is not saying that you are not going to experience the sensation of what happened. Did you? Come on now. Come on. What that verse is saying is, Don't is that because you're in Christ, the sensation don't control what you're going to do. Amen. Yeah. Amen. It doesn't control you. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah, we're supposed to let Christ respond. Uh-huh. And you know, you know, it's funny. I had a I had a scripture for you guys to go with that. And as was, I guess, one of our last scripture for the day. 
Uh, Elder Johnson, this is a good one for you to read. This, this, this segue to what you were talking about, and I want to be able to close out with, is what, what's reigning in your life? Romans 5, 17. For well, by man's one, I'm sorry, by one man's offense, death reigned by one. Much more, they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ. Therefore, as by the offense of one, judgment came upon all men to condemnation. Even so, by the righteousness of one, the gift, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. Yes, sir. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abound, grace did much more abound. That as sin has reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Yes, sir. You know, and that, what I was going to put in there saying, what, what is reigning in your life? What, what is reigning in your life? Is, is, is it death or life? And, and, and in the image, right? The image is conforming to life, isn't it? I think so. <laughs> I think it, it dead to the flesh, but alive in Christ. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think that when Paul yeah. said, he said, not I not it's not I that live, but Christ liveth in me. For he had, you know, he had crucified in this place and he didn't respond in that manner anymore. But because of the life of Christ that was in him, he could impart life to other people who were dead. Just as it was imparted to him by Stephen. Uh Father don't charge his sin to their account. Stephen was suffering physically. But the life in him, when that vessel was broken, the life in Stephen came forth. And it affected Paul. Uh -huh. So that's uh -huh. what I'm seeing our suffering, even as Jesus Christ's suffering was unto our enlivenment. Right. That right. fell in the ground and that spirit that was in him was released to us. Yeah. And so